All right, let's get this thing going, y'all. I'm glad everybody's out tonight on a Wednesday night here in Fredericksburg, Texas. My name's Stephen K. Morris. This is the Outsider Songwriter Spotlight Series, where we will hear all about Colleen Michelle Miller. All She's right. in the house. And her history, some of her future, we're going to predict her future tonight. Okay, cool. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick this thing off. I have dear friends in from Lubbock, Texas, and... Uh, before I forget their request, let's just get it going with small potatoes. You know, Colleen, when I was a kid, I worried too much. Yeah? And my mother said, Stephen, don't worry about that shit. It's just small potatoes. <laughs> I didn't know what she meant. That confused me even more than I already was. But eventually I figured it out. You know, it's one of those old cliche sayings that try to keep us in line. All right. And this is a sing-along for Kelsey and KJ and Gracie and the family. Tell me how the cow ate the cabbage, pull the wool over my eyes. Can you carry your own baggage? Do all your views make me wise? Easy as snapping peas. Don't make a hill of beans. It's small potatoes. It's small potatoes. Now where Make mounds of mole hills of pessimist cup has never been filled. An old neighbor Jones, he's always had enough. I'm so tired of this keeping up. I got a cat by the tail. I gotta fill my own pail. It's small potatoes. It's small potatoes. When you're having a bad day, if you just say that, it'll put a smile on your face. She's a walking habit of the Dust Bowl days. Gert stretches dollars at the five and dime. Buries all her problems back of the garden and only pays interest on borrowed time. Turns sow's ears to purses of silk. Never sits crying over spilt milk. It's small potatoes. That's your part. It's small potatoes. That's right Now in a glass house You shouldn't throw stones The lights are on But nobody's home Just the pot Calling the kettle black It's two steps forward And three steps back Make a right turn You got it made When you get lemons Make lemonade It's small Potatoes It's small Potatoes you know, the first time I sang this song, this Yankee friend of mine said, Stephen, they're not small potatoes, they're tiny tubers. Well, I didn't know Yankee for potato. I thought that might be a little guy floating down the river. The second time I sang this song, this smart aleck guitar player named T. Roy Miller, who knows all his chords, he said, Stephen, they're not small potatoes, they're diminutive. Spuds. It's small potatoes. It's small potatoes. Ah, it don't matter how you say it, just say it when you're having a bad day. It's small potatoes. There you go, Colleen. It's small potatoes. Well, another day and barely a dollar, a penny saved is a penny earned. I keep my nose to the grindstone, singing cliches about lessons learned. When you're by yourself, you're never alone. Is the grass greener from the other side? Maybe if you live in Lubbock, it's small potatoes. It's small potatoes. It's small 
potatoes. All right. Thank you all very much. Hey, that's fun. Yeah, thanks, Colleen. Thank you to everybody for being out here at Western Edge Cellars. This is all about the songwriter and the creations that they've put together between their instrument and the pencil and paper normally, yeah. maybe the iPad or iPhone these no, days. It's a crayon for me. A crayon. <laughs> all right. I like that. I was never able to color inside the lines. Yeah, me either. But that's probably one of the attributes of a good songwriter. Yep. You've got to get outside the box a little bit. That's right. Well, I want to welcome Colleen Michelle Miller back and uh, for the first time on The Outsider. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Colleen, you live in San Antonio. I do. I live on uh, South, in South San, yeah. so Southern San Antonio. Has that been home to you all your life? No, I'm actually from the Valley. So I don't know if anybody knows where the Rio Grande Valley is, but um, I'm from Harlingen, Texas, which is about 20 minutes north of um, Mexico, right on, right on the tip. <laughs> they grow a lot of good cantaloupe there. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how long have you been up in San Antonio? Um, probably about seven years. I came up here to um, try my hand at going to UTSA, and that lasted about uh, four months, and I flunked out, and I've been doing music ever since. <laughs> well, that's usually the first step to the road of songwriting that's is right. dropping, <laughs> dropping out, out of the rest of the world <laughs> and uh, creating your own. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, Colleen, I'm so glad to have you here tonight, and I, I don't think we should talk too much before we hear one of your songs All and right. introduce your music All and, right. uh, to the crowd here and out on KFAN 107.9 cool. FM and our listeners and watchers out on YouTube. So if you have one ready, I'd be tickled to hear it. Yeah, I do. So this is a song that I wrote called Waiting on New Orleans, and this song is not on an album yet. It's not on a record. Um, I plan to cut this at some point, but I kind of have a vision for like a full bluegrass band for this song, so I haven't cut it yet. But anyways, I wrote this song after I was dating a guy who decided that he was going to go to New Orleans for spring break, and I didn't get to go, and I was kind of upset about it, so I stayed home and I wrote this song. It's called Waiting on New Orleans. said he needed some time to think so he backed up his truck and he hit the road and he headed for new orleans well i've been waiting for him to come back down sitting on this front porch swing that road's still empty but i know he won't forget me down in new orleans because here in texas Just keep killing time, waiting on New Orleans. Well, this boy with pretty brown eyes, tan skin and hair so curly, has caused me to drink and I get no sleep since he left me for New Orleans. Well, whiskey. I'll just keep killing time Waiting on New Orleans Maybe I'll go down to the beach And stick my feet in the warm sand But then again it would still be lonely If I don't got my man But he left me that summer Said he needed some time to think So he backed up his truck And he hit the road And he headed for New Orleans Yeah, he headed for New Orleans All right. <laughs> hey, thank y'all so much. This song I wrote called Waiting on New Orleans. 
Well, I'd say it's his loss and your gain for that great song. Thank you. Yeah, I always <laughs> say that um, in hindsight, it probably would have been better if he had stayed in New Orleans, but I didn't find that out till like two years later. <laughs> Different song. <laughs> Another song, yeah. So, Colleen, how long have you been putting pen to paper and writing music? Oh, gosh. Um, I would say... I think I wrote my first full song sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I picked up guitar. Um, I've been a singer my whole life, and when my dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's, I figured I'd pick up guitar to kind of carry on his legacy, and he taught me three chords, and I wrote my first song that night. Yeah. yeah. What a blessing to have a musical father yeah. in the house, and I guess he's... Uh, been a guide in your oh, road, yes. road on He is on the normally road. my roadie now, but uh, he, is could, that right? he couldn't make it tonight. <laughs> but yeah, he's normally here. <laughs> oh, great. But you have Granny tonight. Yeah. We, we met Granny. I brought Granny. That's exactly how she introduced herself. Yep. Otherwise, I would have said her name, but. Yeah, uh, no, she's Granny. <laughs> I like that better anyway. It's more comfortable. It's, it is. We all have one or two. We do. Yeah, when we're lucky. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, Colleen, I'm glad you're down. And uh, so with your father being a musician, was he a songwriter as well or mostly guitar player? No, he was mostly guitar. Um, throughout high school, he played in a Chicago cover band. So he always had those really crazy rhythms. There you go. Um, and then he's always admired John Denver. And um, John Denver is one of, like, the biggest inspirations in my musical career as well because of my dad. Um, so, yeah, he just kind of, he likes to write, I guess, melodies, but not words. There you go. Which is uh, sometimes if you get with other people to write, that's the blessing when you get near someone that comes up with melodies real readily. Yeah. You know, I, I tend to be the writer that puts the words down and the melodies Me are too. secondary, you know. <laughs> but uh, how fortunate of you to have that in your family. Do you have siblings that are around? I have one sister, and she works on charter yachts in Florida, and she's not musical at all. She can draw really well. There you go. Um, yeah, so she's over in Florida right now. <laughs> nice. It's yeah. probably a good spot to be. Yeah. <laughs> but you said she was on working on charter yachts? Yeah, so she's a yachty they, is what they call her. A them. yachty. Yeah. I have a Yeti at home. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's silly. But uh, I'm ready for another song if you've got right. one in, in your hat there. Colleen. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm going to leave my capo right where it is. Um, this next song, um, actually I'm going to play it for you all because I wrote it on a day kind of like this where we had a storm rolling in. And um, typically my songwriting is not done about myself. I like to like people watch and observe and just write things about what I've seen. But this was a particular song that I wrote just about a situation that I was kind of stuck in. And, um, you know, this, this was my first song to Texas radio. I played it in Bernie, and there was a produ producer in the audience who liked it. So um, we recorded it, and we sent it off about three years ago. And um, this kind of became an anthem for people that are in, like, toxic relationships and that you don't have to stay there and that there's better for you. So I call this song Amarillo Rain.
it's raining in Amarillo. The air outside is cold, but my heart just can't take no more. Between the fighting and the lying and the crying and the scheming, like the wind from the storm, my soul is screaming for you. Thank y'all so much. That song is available on um, Spotify and iTunes and all that good number. Yeah, the digital world out there where we yeah. have such access to put our music out for folks to hear. And you're online also at ColleenMichelleMusic.com. I am, yep. yep. And then my Facebook page is Colleen Michelle Miller. There you go. The full name. The full name. Yep. <laughs> well, I like your Amarillo song. I grew up outside Thank of you. Amarillo in Wichita Falls, Texas. We can't write a rain song about Wichita Falls because they don't get it. Right. <laughs> this year has been different. I think they've actually got some rain. I think so. Yeah. It seems like Amarillo's popular uh, subject and, and location for songs. You and know why? Because it's easy to sing. It rolls off sing. the tongue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice. And, uh, and there's a curiosity about places like Amarillo. They're kind of the gateway to other worlds. You I know? think so, too. And as Texans, we... We feel like we have such a big world we live in, but uh, it is kind of the gateway to other spots in the world. Uh, it is. When I went on tour through, I went, when I went on my first Northwestern tour, um, that was the first time I'd ever been through Amarillo, and I remember thinking, like, there's, it's really flat. <laughs> <laughs> it is a flat place, high and flat. KJ, my buddy from Lubbock, knows Amarillo well, and I'm so glad to see he and his family out tonight, all the way from Lubbock, Texas. That's right. You can watch your dog run away for three days in Lubbock. And if you stand on a snuff can, four days. <laughs> Actually, Amarillo and Lubbock are so flat that if you look long and hard enough, you can see the back of your head. <laughs> I believe it. That's terrible. <laughs> well, Colleen, I'm, I'm glad to hear your music. And uh, you're going to be around the Fredericksburg and have been around the area quite a bit. You play at Altdorf um, yes. down the road and also a couple other locations. You'll be there this weekend. Where are you playing? Yeah, I'll be at Altdorf Beer Garden this weekend. Um, and then I'm headed, I'll play Altdorf in the morning, and then I'm headed back to Bull Verde for Rebecca Creek um, Saturday night. But I've got some shows booked at Hondo's, and um, let's see. I'm drawing a blank on the places I play around here. But I'm in Fredericksburg a, a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've heard a lot about you, and it's gl glad to finally get you here at Western Edge Cellars. And yeah. I, you've played here before. I right? have, yeah. yeah. I've done some um, opening acts. It seems like every time that I get a show here, I'm opening for the drugstore cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> no, I love them. They're great. Good stuff. And I think they're from down near Bull Verde, it seems like. I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to throw a song in, if you don't mind me jumping in and playing one. And uh, as we watch the clouds come in to Western Edge, it's getting a little dark out there. And this year has been uncharacteristic of Texas in May. It's been cool and rainy, and yes. we won't trade it for anything. <laughs> this is a song about drought. I figured that would be a good thing to follow your song up with. At the end of 2011, we were getting out of a terrible drought. I had just moved down to Fredericksburg. How time flies. Thank you. 
high, I hear it flowing by, sliding through the bends of time. No way back from Berlin down. Leaving higher ground behind. What's it running away to find as I float to forget it all? Or find another peaceful place to fall? I'm sure it's pouring down some old northern town. A hard rain overdue hasn't shed a drop on me. No, it hasn't shed a drop. I'm still waiting on, I'm still hoping for, I'm still waiting on higher water. I'm still waiting on higher water. I'm sitting in this muddy hole There's life down here but it has no soul A mirrored pond spawning down Looking up but I can't get out I know it's better down the stream I know what a hard rain would bring I see the path I'm so low I need a flood to let me go I'm sure it's pouring some old northern town A hard rain overdue Hasn't shed a drop on me No, it hasn't shed a drop Thank you all very much. Thank you so much. It's called Higher Water. It's off my most recent album, The Hustler's Fool, which I am most of the time. That is a cool song. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank God for droughts, right? Right. I know. I've always been drawn to songs that are more minory. So there you go. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I like to mix it up with some minors and majors. And it's funny how we all kind of have our uh, favorites. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> of course, it's nice to play an upbeat major it is. song. But you got to get the mood in there for minor, especially as a songwriter where you're trying to express your feelings right. sometimes. And, I know. Uh, I your actually find it, right? I find it easier to write like sad songs. I actually have a really hard time writing happy <laughs> songs. It was been, it was something that I challenged myself during quarantine was to write some happy songs. Some happy songs. <laughs> 
which, which, speaking of the quarantine, would not necessarily put you in the happiest of moods being, no. I hope you had a good spot to be stuck. I did. Yeah, I did, for sure. <laughs> I know our garden is good this year because yes. of it. <laughs> Well, Colleen, before we keep going, I want to mention some sponsors that keep this show yeah. rolling, and uh, they keep us out there on KFAN 107.9 FM and TexasRebelRadio.com. These sponsors are all nice small businesses here in Fredericksburg, and right now they need you to spend money with them more than ever, especially after the COVID situation. Yeah. But one of those is Majesty Wine Tours. They're located here on, Fred on Main Street in Fredericksburg, right next door to Western Edge Cellars. You can call Majesty Wine Tours, and they'll drive you to drink. So call them for your customized tour around the hill country. They'll pick you up at your B&B, your hotel, and get you back home safely after seeing all the wineries and nice venues around town. Another one of the sponsors is the Texas Silver Rush. You'll feel like the rock stars they designed for when you wear Texas Silver Rush jewelry. Go in and visit Joe or Trish at their Main Street location here in Fredericksburg or catch them online at thetexassilverrush.com. And last but not least is the Tobacco House. They're purveyors of cheap talk and fine tobacco. They've got a great walk-in humidor. You can find your favorite cigar or pipe tobacco. They've got a full bar and a great lounge. We appreciate the folks at the Tobacco House as well. Look them up online at tabak-haus.com. That's the tobaccohouse.com. Thanks to those sponsors, they keep us rolling so we can put on a good night here at Western Edge where all you kind folks are hanging out and we get to bring in songwriters like Colleen. And all right. So Colleen, you're, you're uh, hanging out with some good songwriters around the Hill Country. You I mentioned uh, when you got here that you're, you have friends in common that I've known of many years, uh, yeah. David Lee and Jess and uh, yeah. his daughter Jess. David Lee has been a mentor of mine and then Jesse Lee is one of my all-time best friends. I love that girl to death. Um, and yeah, I've been, I think I've been hanging around them for like maybe six or seven years and they've really just put a lot of time. Well, David specifically has put a lot of time in encouraging me and giving me advice and kind of mentoring me. Um, so if it wasn't for a lot of the advice that he's given me, I'm not sure that I would have grown as much as I did in this. He's, he's a great uh, go-to guy. He's been around the songwriting world and been very successful at it. He's, he is uh, salt of the earth guy, yeah, for sure. And moved back from Nashville to Texas. We're glad to yeah. get him back in Texas. And, uh, and then his daughter, uh, I, I suspect, is more your age, and she's yeah. coming up in the songwriting world as well. And y'all have actually written, co-written some songs. We and, have, yeah. yeah. This next song that I'm going to play for y'all is actually one of them that we wrote together. Nice. Yeah. Well, Let's let that be the introduction All right. then. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so this song is called uh, Maybe It's Me. And um, I wrote this song with Jesse after me and my grandmother were going through my great-grandmother's record box. And among her, like, property deeds and tax papers, we found all four of her marriage licenses. And so I was telling Jesse about that, and I was like, we've got to write this song. And so we started <laughs> thinking about these people that go in and out of relationships. And so me and Jesse wrote this song called Maybe It's Me. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Let's, let's give it a minute for yeah. the emergency services to be turned off and uh, it's just rain y'all I know we're not used to it in Texas but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully that's all we'll get I know it I love that sound especially at 3 in the morning oh it's the best at 3 in the morning All right, this is a song called Maybe It's Me. Will it like the women in the Hennessy? He made rounds all over town. One night the door was unlocked. And Willie got caught red-handed with his pants down. And Timmy had a temper and a silver tongue. He left a few dents in the walls. But I must admit, I can throw quite a fit. So it ain't all Timmy's fault. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm wrong. My personality is coming off a little too strong Is the frying pans flying? My temperamental crying 
that keeps men moving along. Well, it's a possibility that maybe it's me. Well, they say love is fragile and needs time to grow, so I gave Dave eight or nine weeks. But I guess it wasn't enough, cause now I'm stuck as a triple time divorcee. And my mama's always wondering when I'm settling down permanently. Because my body clock is ticking, I'm getting older by the minute, and she wants grandbabies. Well, maybe it's me, maybe I'm wrong. My personality is coming off a little too strong. It's the frying pans flying, my temperamental crying that keeps men moving along. Well, it's a possibility that maybe there ain't enough sugar in my sweet tea. Maybe it's the birds and the bees, or maybe, just maybe, oh hell. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm wrong. My personality can come off a little too strong. It's the frying pans flying, my temperamental crying that keeps men moving along. Well, it's a possibility. It's a possibility that maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. There it is. Hey, thank you all. That's a song I wrote with Jesse Lee called Maybe It's Me. Very nice. Just don't be that girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't rack up too many of those uh, marriage licenses. No. But that's quite the story, and uh, many of us have been through that situation. Reflecting on yourself is the hardest part of any situation, I yes. think. And uh, <laughs> figuring out what part you have to do with what's going on around you. Yep, I think so. Yeah, I think you hit a good note there that people should think about. Yep. So, Colleen, do you have kind of a method of writing? Do you like pen to paper? Do you like a guitar in your lap? Do you I have got to have a guitar in my lap, yeah. even if I'm not playing it. It just has to be here Nearby. somewhere. Yeah. yeah, there's a comfort level. And yeah. I have tried to write on the phone using that like using an app, but I've got to, I have to write it. Because it's something about seeing the words mm. on paper. I don't know. Yeah. I, maybe I'm weird, but I've got to have, it's got to be tangible. I still like, you know, pen and paper. You can hold on to it. It seems more personable. And yeah. if it's something you've got in your heart to write, it seems more natural to me yes, still. Completely. Although when you're driving down the road eating and uh, talking on the phone and all that, it's nice to talk and just talk to the phone to take yes. notes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm ready for another song if you All got right. one. And uh, you have yeah. a new album out? Is, am I, I do. Yeah. So I am releasing, um, we went into the studio in December, and we recorded a full record, and I'm releasing each song kind of singly just, just because I feel like each of these songs is so important to me that I wanted them to be able, I wanted the stories to get out. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying that I'm building an album instead of dropping one. <laughs> but um, I released two songs now off of that new record, and the first one was a song called Addicted to You, and um, I normally have some, like, really detailed backstory behind the songs that I write, but this one, there was no backstory other than that I was slightly inebriated when I wrote it. So anyways, <laughs> this is my new single. It's on Texas Radio. It is currently sitting at number 74 on the charts. All right. And um, it sounds like this. Well, I sipped all the whiskey, I smoked all the weed, but nothing makes me feel this high. I've done everything I can, nearly drive myself mad, looking for another vice. I've tried Adderall and cheap wine, but nothing makes me feel fine the way you do. I'm going crazy here lately, cause damn it, baby, this love's really got me hooked. Cause it burns and it hurts, and I can't get it off of my mind. Baby, your love's got me begging for more every time. With your lips like cocaine, 
nothing else that I can do. Baby, I'm addicted to you. Well, I slow the tequila, I quit cigarettes, but I can't put this down. It might be bad for me, baby, but I'm mad for it, baby. Got my feet flying off the ground. Cause it burns and it hurts, and I can't get it off of my mind. Baby, love's got me begging for more every time. With your Nothing else that I can do Baby, I'm addicted to you No, cause it burns and it hurts And I can't get it off of my mind Baby, you love Nothing else that I can do I'm feeling helpless Cause I couldn't quit If I wanted to Baby, I'm addicted to you Hey, thank y'all so much. That song is called Addicted to You, and um, that is the, was the first single off my new record, and it's available on all the digital platforms, and it's on Texas radio, so please keep requesting that song. Yeah, very nice, and that's Colleen Michelle Miller, y'all. She's our guest tonight on the Outsider Songwriter Spotlight Series. We appreciate you guys here at Western Edge Cellars on Wednesday nights from 6.30 to 9 and also listening out on KFAN 107.9 FM and TexasRebelRadio.com. It's a lot of fun to be able to bring songwriters to town and uh, help you uh, share your wares, I yeah, guess. Yeah, thank and, you so uh, much. Yeah, thanks for being here on the show tonight. It's, it's already a fun time, and yeah. if you don't mind, I'll throw a song in. Yeah, yeah. please do. Do you have, uh, well, everything's kind of up in the air this year, but do you have plans of traveling with your music this year? Colleen? I do. So I just actually reached out this week. Um, I had a tour scheduled to go back up through New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. And I emailed all the venues, and they're still planning on having me. So I'm still planning on going. It'll be the end of July through early August. So I'm excited. It's nice to go north when it's summertime. It is. You know? And you, they love their Texas country up there. There you go. <laughs> Have you been to Montana before? One time. I've one done time? this tour one time before yeah. when I first released Amarillo Rain, and I had no idea what the hell I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of this business is figuring it out as you go. Yeah. Just like any old Wednesday night at Western Edge. street called Foley Drive up in Iowa Park, Texas. We keep talking about Amarillo with your song, Colleen, and it's got me going back to Iowa Park, which is outside of Wichita Falls. And I know that's a long way from Amarillo, but in Texas, it's really not that far. Wash your hands, say your prayers, clean your plate, push in your chair. Wait your turn, pretend you care, mind your manners on the go. 
These were things we had to know. One more thing, be back home before that stream light shines down fully dry. Fireflies and mason jaws that led our way to see the stars out in the backyard with my first dog, Max. Look up there, it's a comet. Where on earth will it hit? And Daddy laughed aloud. Don't worry now, not on Foley Drive. West School Lays brought teacher. Sunday's preaching, but it weren't nothing our mama didn't know. Summer days for scheming, winter days dreaming, and quiet nights sleeping like a log. Down on Foley Drive. Cowboy boots, cotton rope, and hula hoops Make broken bows for arrows flung Front yard wars for bragging rights It was straw hats and sweatbands Made outlaws and Indians In the fairy tale land where we played Down on Foley Drive If we turn the clock back now, would it feel like it did before? If it does, am I the same? If it don't, am I to blame for a world gone insane? In spite of Foley Drive I got you first, you can't shoot, I give up, I don't give a hoot Call it a draw, start over now with the words that we used We wore holes in our souls, patches on our jeans Not knowing someday how we dream We dream of Foley Drive And getting back there where school days brought teaching, Sundays preaching, but it weren't nothing our mama didn't know. Summer days for scheming, winter days dreaming, and quiet nights sleeping like a log down on Foley Drive. That's where I drift off to once in a while. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. We appreciate our audience here at Western Edge Sellers listening to songs written by the people you're looking at. And uh, there goes that dirty old weather alarm again. Yep. We just want the rain, nothing else. Right. We can do without the tornado. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We're liking it here tonight. We, we just yeah. want it to stay calm and rainy. So, Colleen, does the rain put you in a good mood? It does. I've, I have written some of my favorite songs in rainy weather. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a natural thing to kind of hunker down and get yeah. quiet. And I yeah. think so. I like to turn the lights off, light a candle. We have some gas lamps that I really enjoy, too. I don't know. There's something about setting an atmosphere for writing a song for me. Absolutely. I have a really hard time writing in super bright rooms. I like them to be a little more moody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it gets us in the mindset or towards the mindset of thinking a little deeper than yes. our outward selves in the world. So, Colleen, would you share another one with us? Yeah, I would love to. So I'm going to play you all a song. Um, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. This is going to be the next release um, off that record that we're slowly dropping the songs for. 
And um, this is a song that I wrote. This, is a, this story is not true. This is just a story that hit me that I decided um, I had to write. The chorus kind of hit me during a storm, a lot like this one. And I was sitting at home, and the wind was kind of rattling and howling through the back door. And um, so I heard this chorus in my head, and I sat down, and I had this story written in about uh, 10 minutes. This is called Wind Song Blues. Well, she lost his love down in Alabama, yeah, that's how the story goes. To a gypsy soul who wore perfume and rouge and danced beneath the sill. The story goes that she sat by her window one night while a storm rolled through and sang a song out to the meadow that sounded like a wind song of blues. She'd sing a wind trees blowing around his memory when a wind blowing through the trees won't you bring him back to me won't you bring him back to me well the locals said that the girl gone crazy but that's what a heartbreak will do she watched night and day through the trees by her window waiting for her man to come Years had passed and still she sat crying like a lovesick fool. And every night she'd look out her window and sing a wind song of blues. She'd sing a wind, a wind blowing through the trees, blowing around his memory. A wind, a wind blowing through the trees. Won't you bring him back to me? Won't you bring him? The story goes that she sat by her window till the day the Lord called her home. On a stormy night down in Alabama, gazing at the trees below. They say that if you go out to the spot where she used to stay, beneath the silver moon through the trees, you can still hear singing that wind song the blues. She'd sing a wind. Won't you bring him back to me? When a wind blowing through the trees, blowing all around his memory. When a wind blowing through the trees, won't you bring him back to me? Won't you bring him back to me? Very nice. That's Miss Colleen Michelle Miller, y'all. Hey, thank y'all. You can find her online at ColleenMichelleMusic.com. That's right. Yeah. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us here at Western Edge. Colleen, nice song. That kind of has a throwback country sound yeah. to me. And, uh, yeah. I, um, I wanted that to feel very swampy. Like, I wanted you to feel like you were, like, in an Alabama or a Louisiana swamp and you listened to it. And so the way that we produced it, we threw in some really cool harmonica in there. And I'm so excited to get that song out to y'all. I can't tell you the date yet. I can just tell you that that one will be coming up yeah. soon. <laughs> Are you working with a studio? And Yeah, so I recorded out of Austin Signal. Um, and a very good friend of mine named Bo DePena was my producer. And he's an, a songwriter and artist, performing artist up in Colorado. And he's been working with me 
from the very start of my career. So he's another mentor of mine. Very cool. And it's probably some comfort knowing him a while. And when yeah. you get, the studio is always a funny spot to be because it is. We get to cut up and just perform in front of these mics. But you go to the studio, there tends to be a little different feel. And yes. uh, hopefully he keeps it as natural feeling as possible. Yeah, and, he put yeah. together a really cool team. And I've, I've worked with that team before. Um, I put the same team together that I recorded Amarillo Rain with. So we all were pretty familiar. Right. And so it wasn't as awkward. But the first time I went into the studio, yeah, it was very serious. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the red light fever when they're... The what? The red light fever when they hit oh. the button to start recording. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Well, Colleen, before we get off the radio hour, I'd love for you to share one more song. And then okay. we come back here at Western Edge and play a bunch more songs, trade more songs and probably a little less talk. But I'm so glad you got to be on The Outsider today. And, yeah, uh, thank we, you so much. Yeah, absolutely. We love our listeners out on KFAN 107.9 and TexasRebelRadio.com. I'm ready. If All right. Do you have another one? I do. This song is my most recent release, and this song is very special to me. I did not plan on releasing this song when I first wrote it, but my producer loved it, and he said, we've got to put that on the record. And I'm so glad we did because I've received so many really inspiring stories from people who were kind of in a spot like I was. I come from a background where I was in a very mentally abusive relationship, and it put me down a really dark path. And so I wrote this song just for anybody out there that, you know, you don't have to settle, and there's there's ways out of these places, and just please don't settle for a love that's good enough, because you are, everybody's so worthy of love in its purest form. So that's this true. is a song that I wrote called Good Enough, and um, this song is on digital platforms right now, and it sounds a little bit like this.
Very nice. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Colleen. That's Colleen Michelle. You can find her at ColleenMichelleMusic.com. Yep. Colleen, thanks for being on The Outsider tonight yeah, here thank at Western you. Edge. And uh, we'll have you back again. And uh, enjoy your songs and your, thank your you voice so much. is beautiful. So thank you for being here and sharing some of your story. We'll do this again. All right. I appreciate the listeners out on KFAN 107.9 FM and TexasRebelRadio.com. Also on the podcast on YouTube, if you're out there seeing this on YouTube, please subscribe and click the little bell so we can let you know when a new show comes out. Colleen, yours will be all over the world, just like your music already. All you right. got Spotify. We can find you at Spotify yes, and all the Spotify, uh, Apple Music, Amazon, wherever you stream music. And then I do have singles that will be out on Texas radio for a while. Good, good <laughs> yeah. for you. I hope you keep them lined up and moving through. Yeah, there. me too. And of course, if you're here at Western Edge, you can buy some merch tonight and uh, take some music home with you. We appreciate our listeners here, right here at Western Edge on Wednesday nights. My name's Stephen K. Morris. This is Miss. Colleen Michelle. Hey, hey. Thank you all very much. Remember, folks, we're a small crowd, but we're mighty. <laughs> hey, folks, thanks for joining us online to watch the Outsider Songwriter Spotlight Series. That's right, we're taking this thing to a new level. Videos, every guest, every week. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell so you can be notified when we release new material. If you like the show and want to support us, you can tip through Venmo. There's a link below. Check out TheOutsiderSongwriter.com. That'll be up and coming soon. Thank you for your support over the last four years. The show's growing. We've had over 150 guests, and we promise to have a lot of new great songwriter guests. Please continue to share with your friends on your social media accounts. Come on into a show. Join us when you're in Fredericksburg. You can be a part of the live audience. Downtown under the dark of night, somewhere between shadow and light, over the edge of lost and found, you can hear neon feel sound. Be well, folks. I know we're living in strange times. We'll get through this together. We'll see you soon.